Hey everyone. Uh, this video, I thought I would do something really interesting, and that is to kind of compare these these brands of yarn from the company Yarns and Colors. Thing is, is that I tend to use acrylic yarn for all my amigurumi, but I really like the feel of cotton yarn. And I wanted to see if I would use one of these yarns as my go-to yarn in the future for all my amigurumi. So, as a crochet designer, I contacted Yarn and Colors uh, a few days ago and asked them what yarn would they suggest that I use for my amigurumi. And they were so gracious enough to send me all of these as a sample. And I thought it would be a real good idea to use these in a video to help other people decide what they would like to use. And so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so I think first thing I want to do is go through each one and explain, you know, what the yarn thickness is, the um, the content and what hook size they recommend and go from there and maybe I can just by that narrow down some of these to which ones I think I will be using and afterwards I'm going to do a time skip and crochet an amigurumi of one of my designs in each one of these yarns and then we can all come back and see what they all look like. And hopefully by the end, I'll have picked at least one yarn that I'm happy with. So, let's get started. I have on my computer screen here the different yarns from the Yarn and Colors website so we can get a bit more information if we need to. You see here, the first one is Baby Fabulous. And, as you can see, it is 50 grams, 102 meters, and has 45% cotton, 55% acrylic. The yarn thickness, they consider this to be a 4 medium or iron weight yarn, which is actually the thickness of yarn that I am currently using for my amigurumi. And that's a really good thing because when you change the thickness of the yarn, you change how big or how small your amigurumi is going to end up being. And if your customers are already expecting one size, if you change it and say use a thinner yarn, they may not see as much value in that amigurumi if it gets smaller. So that is a good thing. I would use that for that. Uh, the texture of this yarn is interesting. It's not the standard type of winded yarn as you would use. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about it. I mean, it does feel very soft and squishy. Uh, the only issue I have with this, I guess, is it is a bit expensive. It's more towards 3 euros when uh, some of my other yarns I've been using have been more towards 2 euros. But also the yarn, the amount of the uh, the amount of colors, that's the issue. When you do a lot of amigurumi, you want a lot of colors. You need to have a variety, and especially when customers ask for very specific greens or blue shades. If you only have about mm, thirty-five colors, it seems. You don't have that much options, so I might actually, just from that, exclude this one. But you know, it, it has a very nice texture. I think it would make a very interesting amigurumi, so when we test this out, it'll be interesting to see the results. So, take that one to the side. Second one, Yarns and Colors Gentle. This yarn... It is also number four, same supposedly as 
the last one is 50 grams, 75 meters, and it is made from 100% recycled cotton. So if you're concerned about the environment, this would be a very good choice. Let's see. Once again, uh, this one does not have that many colors. Uh, 32 colors, I think. It is cheaper than the last one, uh, which is, is good, but also, once again, has the same issue with not as many colors, which could be a problem. The, uh, the winding, I, I don't, I'm not sure what you call it when the uh, different strands of yarn are intertwined, is much looser with this one. I can almost just unwind it while I'm holding it like this. That may be a problem with Amagurumi because you have to use a smaller hook than is recommended and all that tension you could snag a piece of this yarn and you know it comes undone and you know like that. That could be a problem. Might Maybe not. I don't know. Well, we'll have to find out for that one. But uh, put this one to the side and go to the next one. This one is the Yarn and Colors Super Must Have. It is their larger version of the must have here. So we'll look at the back. This is a number five. It's even thicker than the previous two. Uh, it recommends a six to seven millimeter hook. It is 100 grams and 115 meters. So, if we look on the website, they say how many colors are there? Wait, oh, there. Uh, 50 colors. That's a pretty good amount. Um, and also, very nicely, I, I love how it's uh, a mercerized cotton as well. As you can see, it has the gloss is smooth. So that would probably look really nice with Amakurumi. Only issue with this one it is pretty expensive. It's over five euros for just a ball of yarn and if you're doing a medium to large size Amakurumi you're probably going to be using more than one ball of this. So that is something to think about but I, I don't know I think this this might be a good one. Um, Especially if you want to take a smaller amigurumi and scale it up, the best way to do that is to use a thicker yarn. You don't have to change the pattern, put more stitches into it, you just use a thicker yarn and you're going to get a bigger amigurumi. So we go to the next one. This one um, is the one I have the most hopes for. It is the Yarns and Colors Epic. Because it has number four, which is the thickness of yarn I am already using in acrylic. It recommends a five millimeter hook, the same thickness, as I, uh, the same hook size as I am already using. 100% cotton, 50 grams, 75 meters. And if you look on the website, they have 100 colors. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm looking at this and there's at least Ten shades of orange to yellow to red alone, like it's it's a, it's a good color range from what I can tell. The only issue maybe is that it is not mercerized. You don't have that shiny gloss to it. But if you don't want that, like you like the more organic, I guess, more natural color of of unmercerized yarn, it would be perfectly fine. Um, so I think. I think this could be my go-to yarn just on the fact that it has good colors. But you know, that's not everything. We'd have to actually test this, see if the yarn is good when we use a smaller hook. Say it doesn't split, it's easy to pass through, make stitches. So we'll see how that works. But you know, I got my hopes up for this one. And then we have this one, Yarns and Colors Must Have, which I believe is probably their most popular yarn. And that is because 
it is a smaller, thinner yarn, which I believe in Europe is much more common for amigurumi. This is number two, recommended two to a 3.5 millimeter hook. We have 50 grams, 125 meters, and it is 100% mercerized cotton, so you've got that nice glossy, shiny look. And seems like it would be really great. I mean, you have, I believe there's 100 colors in this one, so 101. If you're on a budget or if your pattern already asks for this thin yarn, then you know you're doing real good. You know? Or if you want to make your amakrumi smaller, because smaller might mean cuter, you know, use this thinner yarn and you're good to go. And the even better thing is for people who are doing probably amigurumi or projects with lots of colors, you can get their mini size balls. These are super cute. Let's see how many, how much is, they are only 10 grams, 25 meters. Same colors, you get them in every color you can in this size. And you know, you save a lot of money. I think these are only like 75 cents or something. That's a, a pretty good deal. So I'm going to move this aside. And we go to the last one. Now this one is Yarn and Colors Favorite. And when I saw this, I thought it was exactly the same as this one, the must-have, just unmercerized. So if you don't like that glossy look, you can just get this one instead, which is great. However, when I look at the back, they say they're 50 grams, but the meters are different. The must-have is 125, while the favorite is 170. So that implies that this would be a thinner yarn, you'd think. But they both say they are number two. So, mm, I don't know. And this one only says recommended three millimeters. This one says two to 3.5. So when uh, I do my test algorithm in these two, it would be really interesting to see just how much yarn is used at the end. Like, does this one take less, more? I. You know, I'm not really sure. It would be interesting. Only issue with this one is the color range again. This one has three, 30, 35 colors, it seems. So, you know, not the big range that you would want. And, you know, seeing as how that they have the epic range, same thing, unmercerized cotton, just different thicknesses. It leads me to believe that they could make more colors of this, but maybe they're testing it out. Maybe they're trying to see if people would really want this. So, you know, try it out, see how it goes. And so, with that, I will uh, do a time skip and come back after I make about, oh geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, six amigurumi. <laughs> be a bit of some time and I'll come back and we'll see the results. And we are back a few days later and the results of this amigurumi crocheting uh, was actually surprising to me because the sizing of the yarn didn't change the outcome size of the amigurumi as much as I thought it would. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, let's start from the beginning with the Baby Fabulous yarn. This is the one where I was talking about the ply of it. I wasn't I wasn't sure that like I didn't I didn't know what the word I was missing which was ply, but the individual plies of this yarn are kind of fused together. It's not like a normal yarn. But look at it. It turned out absolutely adorable. It is very soft. I, I love it. A nice interesting fact is this actually turned out to be the lightest of all of my uh, little goldfish here that I ended up making. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to put all the numbers and stuff on the screen so you know exactly what I'm talking about because I'm probably gonna miss a few as I'm going through here but uh, for Baby Fabulous I ended up using only 18 grams of yarn and out of 50 grams, so you know, it's pretty darn light. Uh, t in total, this this um this goldfish 
actually only weighs 30 grams. So pretty light, squishy, and still got plenty of the yarn left. So I, you know, I could make at least two more of these, I think, if I do the math correctly. I didn't really do it in advance, but yeah, I think that's true. So, you know, nice base start. So I guess I'll put this aside and go to the next one. Next one was the Gentle Yarn, and, oh, by the way, I used a 2.75 millimeter hook for both of these. See, the size is still pretty, pretty much the same here. You can tell this is the uh, recycled yarn, 100% recycled yarn. It does have a paler color to it. Uh, this one, as I thought, because the plies of yarn are so... Uh, separate. It was a little difficult to crochet, but nothing too bad. I mean, I got the goldfish done, so I must have not been too bad. There have been some yarns where I just get so upset with it that I just rage quit, but this one, not that bad. And as you can see, pretty much the same size. The weight of this one, I ended up using 25 grams. So, 25 grams out of a 50 gram ball, you only get two from one ball. So you can see, a lot more of it was used up. But, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, so, let's put this to the side. And go to the next one. Now this is the one that surprised me the most. It is the super must-have yarn. It's bulky. And look at this. Look at the size of it. It's almost identical. I was blown away. Now the eyes are a size larger because I thought, as I was making it, it's going to be a bigger goldfish, so I'm going to need some bigger eyes. Well, I probably could have just used the same eyes. Same thing. But as you can see, it has the very nice glossy color to it. I ended up using a 3.5 millimeter hook for this, so a little bit bigger hook. Still, outcome is pretty much the same, I, I feel, but uh, definitely the feel of it is much smoother, glossy color. So that's probably something you would think of when, if you're going to use this yarn or any other one. So, uh, let's see. Uh, how much yarn did I end up using? I ended up using 30 grams of this. Still enough. You can make another one. Uh, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm confused a little bit on this one. I mean, it could be the fact that I used a smaller hook because I'm doing amigurumi. That the pro the end result was smaller than I expected, but when I saw this to begin with, this yarn does not look that thick to be bulky. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of super chunky or chunky yarn, but I was thinking that bulky yarn would be much thicker. This actually looks a lot like my acrylic yarn, uh, except for the fact that it is very dense. Like it is, it does not squish in compared to the acrylic yarn that I used. So that could be a reason. I don't know, like I'm, I'm confused with this one because as you're gonna see, um, you see, like you could, you, this is about over five euros for this ball of yarn. So, I mean, you could use these other ones and they're just as good and, and you might expect to get a bigger result, but you don't, so I don't know. I mean, this definitely would have its purpose for if you're crocheting like scarves or shirts or something. You're going to get a different result and such. But when it comes to amigurumi, the size isn't that big of a deal. Like, I mean, if you made this or this one out of different yarn and you got a slightly different size, the person who's receiving it, it's, it's not, they're not going to know, you know? So, you know, if you're, if you're not looking for the mercerized yarn, maybe you want to go for a cheaper option, like one of these two instead. Uh, you know, you don't know. But let's go on. Let's keep going. This is my 
I think, my choice that I'm going to use in the future. It is the Epic yarn. And as you can see, pretty much the same, but this is a uh, this is actually a number four size yarn. This is number five. And this yarn is much cheaper. It's, I believe, around, you can find it between uh, like a euro and one euro and 50 cents to one euro and 80 cents per ball. Uh, you do only get, let's see, how much did I end up using? I ended up using 31 grams. So, you're not gonna get you you're not gonna get a a second one a second goldfish out of this so i mean we're you have to do the math see which one you're gonna save the most money on but i mean when you're doing this how much are you really thinking about the money like like some obviously but if you want a result you want a certain result like this then you, you're gonna you're gonna go for the results. I, I love how this yarn worked up. It was very smooth. It didn't snag on my hook at all. Uh, it has a very nice satiny look to it, which I, I'm I'm enjoying a lot. Uh, you know, if they had a mercerized version of this, which the closest they have is the Super Must Have, I probably would use the mercerized version. But since they don't, and they don't have it with 100 colors, this is really the option I've been thinking of doing with. I mean, it makes a very nice sized amigurumi compared to the ones you're going to see. They're, uh, the next ones are a little bit smaller, which, you know, also not bad. But, you know, when you're trying to sell something to someone, they're probably gonna spend more if the amigurumi is larger. So let me just show you that. The next one is the yarns in color. <laughs> Look at this adorable little goldfish. Now this is this is definitely where the yarn size makes a difference. Look how adorable. Also using the same nine millimeter black safety eyes. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's so cute. And uh, let's see. Uh, I ended up using a 1.75 millimeter hook for this. I think the recommended was a 2 millimeter. So, didn't have to go down very far for this one to work. Very nice. Very lovely. I actually really love this yarn. Uh, the only issue is, <laughs> is it's thinner than what I had originally made my amigurumi out of. So if I make all of mine over again with this yarn, they're going to be so itty bitty. I mean, you know, is the same person going to buy either one of these at the same price? I mean, the average customer would think this is smaller, so I would spend less money for it. But at the same time, you're crocheting the same amount of stitches, doing the same amount of work for it. So... Unfortunately, just for that reason, I have to not choose this option. But boy, if someone asked for a smaller version of my amigurumi, I would definitely use this must-have yarn. It is very nice. Okay, let's go to the last one then. Oh, I'm running out of space here, aren't I? And the last one is also a very cute tiny goldfish. But this one is the favorite yarn and it is the non-mercerized cotton yarn same size thickness as this one but you know not with the glossy shine of it also worked out just as well very nice um uh, you know i also like this one too although i've noticed that they don't have the full 100 color range for this one so you know that's a little bit of a drawback Otherwise, I would probably use both the Epic and this one interchangeably when customers ask for a smaller version. But you know, you could still do it with a few of the colors that they have. And this was also, these two, you know, I was thinking, you know, they're both the same yarn thickness. They're both going, they're going to use the same hook, which, let me see. Yeah, I did use the same hook for them, but the amount of yarn that each one used was much different, and I, th I thought that was a very interesting thing. Uh, let's see. 
must have, this one, uh, used 13 grams of yarn. And if you remember, it's 50 grams equals 125 meters. And this one, this is a real shocker, <laughs> used only 9 grams. You look at this ball of yarn, it doesn't even look like I used any of it. This, if you were trying to make amigurumi in an economic way, would be by far the best way to do. Because you use such little and you get the same results. I mean, you know, very nice. So, out of all of these, I mean, I think they're all great. They all look very, very nice. They have very nice soft, some a little bit smoother because of the mercerized yarn, but they all have a very nice texture. When I was working with them, the yarn was very nice. I mean, even the recycled yarn, which uh, was a little bit splitty and difficult to work with, I think with the regular sized hook and you working on this with maybe a different project that is an amigurumi, it would be perfect. I mean, I saw nothing wrong with these yarns. So I think, in the end, this is a very opinionated video. I mean, my opinions and my ideas about this are going to be different because I'm using this yarn for a very specific purpose, which is making amigurumi. But all of these yarns are made for multiple different purposes. Different people are going to purchase these to make hats and scarves and, and gloves and, you know, shirts. I, you know, anything. So, what I'm trying to say is that if I say I don't like something in here, it doesn't mean it's totally bad. It's not like it's useless. It's just for somebody else. So when I say that I would use the Epic Yarn, that doesn't mean I wouldn't use this Baby Fabulous. I mean, if this Baby Fabulous came in way more colors, I'd probably use this one instead, but due to certain requirements that I need, I would use the Epic Yarn. And those requirements are nice, good quality, uh, decent price, a very good value, and you get so many colors. And it also, it is the thickness of yarn that I wanted. So that is my results. And I guess in the end, I, you know, I kind of want to know what all of you guys would think. Well, what would you choose out of all of these yarns? Is there something you're looking for in a crochet yarn or knit that uh, is different than what I have suggested that you might like? And, you know, leave a comment below and let us all know because there really is no right or wrong answer here. We just have fun when we crochet our work. Okay, see you later then.